So launch this systems. little pen, which this is looks like the military version of, of these things, contains you know its own little water water plant or water purification exactly. plant, right? Well, maybe you can sort of break it down for us on how this thing works. At the end of the day, what we're doing is we're creating a disinfectant, and we're using nothing more than salt and the technology um, and battery power in the case of the pen to take the sodium chloride, the salt, we break it apart molecularly into a chlorine solution with other uh, oxidants that actually will disinfect water and kill any virus or bacteria that might cause people to get sick. I really don't want to drink this water, but let's try it anyway. <laughs> All right, show us how this works. Okay, great. So as you can see, this is a fairly uh, murky looking water. And as you can imagine with the ducks and the turtles and everything else in here, there's probably a lot of things that would uh, not only be unsavory to drink, but would cause you to get sick. A lot of viruses, bacteria, uh, microorganisms. And the key thing about water is always to think it's not what you can see that's going to get you sick. It's what you can't see, really. You can't um, even see the water in this water. So uh, here's some of this lovely pond water. So I'm going to pour a little bit of water into the device. It's just a couple of milliliters. I'm going to close this off so that I can shake it and get salt water. As you saw, there was salt in the top chamber. Yep. We're going to press this button. Now, And the button, that gets the electric current flowing? That actually just applies power to the system. And now you can see all of a sudden uh, a foaming. white foaming substance. It looks a little bit like an Alka-Seltzer. Uh -huh. What's actually happening is we've taken the salt water, we've converted the sodium chloride into chlorine with uh, other disinfectants. And now I have a chemical that's safe. It's below any uh, levels that would cause me to get sick if I drank it or if I touched it or if I spilled it, there's no environmental impact, etc. But that small amount of disinfectant poured into this Nalgene bottle, if I shake it up and give it a few minutes, I can have water that will actually be free of any virus or bacteria. Let's have a little bit of this Stow Lake cocktail. Want to do this first or shall sure, I? Sure, I'd be glad to <laughs> do the honors. <laughs> well, I can't say it's uh, clear, but cheers. But it is safe. That's the key. Safe to drink. It's a little bit like uh, when I was a kid drinking a swimming pool. Yeah, it's definitely going to have a little bit of taste to it, given that uh, it has quite a few things floating around in it. But Better nothing, that than... Uh... But nothing's going to cause you to get sick. So the alternative right. is... Uh, Stuff that will not only taste bad but cause you to get sick. But um, cheers. Yeah. Well, so from this pen, this scales up to municipal water districts. And you guys play in all those markets. I mean, how large is this market? I mean, this is a, a niche market, I would imagine, this handheld. But um, you guys have taken these units all over the place. Yeah, the handheld, just to focus on that for a second. Military first and now outdoor enthusiast. I think people have taken it up into the Himalayas and all kinds of places that you know you would want to have something that's powerful but lightweight and, and very portable. A lot of Peace Corps volunteers and again a lot of disaster relief situations. So a right. lot of these are deployed in Haiti. Uh, we've deployed them uh, post Katrina, post tsunami mm -hmm. in Indonesia. So a lot of our systems are used in municipal type of drinking water. There's about 800 communities around the country, places like Santa Fe, Telluride. Um, places in Phoenix, uh, Los Gatos here in the Bay Area. And the market size is? Four to five billion dollars of chemicals that are sold for drinking water just right. for purification, not counting any of the other industrial applications. Right. Uh, we think we can take some parts of this. I mean, obviously not all five billion at once, although right. that would be nice.